In 6.11, we're going to talk about hydrogen fuel. As always, you need to know how it's used and then the effects it has on the environment. So what it basically comes down to is the combination of hydrogen and oxygen. It creates a lot of heat, um, a lot of energy that can then be harnessed to create electricity. So the only byproduct, which is awesome, is just water because the oxygen will come in from the outside environment. Hydrogen has been stored in, um, in a tank, just like you know you would your gas. And then, ta-da, that's it. Um, you don't have to know how it's extracted or refined or anything like that. So on the one side, hydrogen is really abundant. It's all around us right now. It is the most abundant element in, you know, like the universe. The only byproduct is water, so no... No carbon dioxide, no sulfur dioxide, no other harmful emissions. It's very efficient, and of course it's renewable. Always always a plus. On the other hand, the technology is very expensive. Um, so it's not something that's commonly seen. When I looked at the map, there are some places in California, but really not a lot of, a lot of branching out in the United States uh, as of yet. It does require a lot of energy to produce the hydrogen gas for the fuel cell. It's difficult to store and move around. The infrastructure and cars need to be changed. So, you know, we need places like in addition to gas. We need to have hydrogen fuel stations. Our cars need to be able to handle hydrogen fuel. Um, so there's a lot that has to go into it. Um, besides just, you know, let's just use hydrogen fuel. And of course, hydrogen is very flammable. Um, so that's bad. <laughs> so we want to make sure that um, our infrastructure is sturdy enough that it's not going to blow up easily. The end.